Bonjour et bienvenue to the very heart of the West Indies, where we shall be showing you Ponant's beautiful ship, Le Dumont de Ville, sailing the Caribbean Sea in the most exhilarating 13-day island hopping experience that can possibly be had in this beautiful part of the world. This is the third part of our vlog series, so if you're here for the first time, welcome, and we recommend you watch the first two parts too. In this part, we will show you a far less glamorous side to the Caribbean. Beach. It looks exactly the same. It is exactly the same beach. Suffer from a collective bout of extreme amnesia, stare open-mouthed at some pretty unusual entertainment, and show you the effects of ingesting some of the local rocket fuel. This is small ship cruising at its best in one of the most stunning parts of the world. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Breakfast time in Le Nautilus restaurant. Did I get that right? <laughs> good morning. Just have a quick look at the menu here. Um, there's a buffet area, which has amazing stuff in. And then you've got this kind of a la carte menu, which is dual language. So if you want to practice your French, look at the left-hand side. If you're lazy like me, Look at the right hand side. Helen's working her way through the pancake French toast waffle section. I'm being really boring and working my way through the omelettes, which I've got to say are absolutely stupendous. Magnifique, as they say in France. And I found some really nice smoked salmon. And this baguette is the most delicious bread. So I've made a smoked salmon cream cheese baguette. And I love how the, these little butters are just little packs. So bosh. Well, everything is. Today we are in Dominica. Hello, Dominica. Oh my gosh, it's noisy down here. We're actually alongside as well, rather than being anchored. But look at that. Isn't that the prettiest alongside you've ever seen? So the itinerary for today is, we're gonna walk all the way to that big building there in the distance. There's a beach club there. So that should be quite interesting. Looks to me like we need sun cream and our jungle spray as well, because I bet there's some pretty hungry, creepy crawlies in there. Thank you. So, welcome to Dominica. We've got our walking shoes on and, oh. What you are? <laughs> That's a dodgy looking sign, if everyone's worn. I think the road has fallen into the sea a little bit. So we've got to that kind of like, sort of resort, and it, look at it. It's completely deserted. I'm going to, a walk around. I know Helen won't, she's too scared. Oh, what a pity. Such a shame, isn't it? But then, you know, if you're arriving here by cruise ship, like we have, we are part of the problem. Welcome to Dominica. Certainly uh, not the most developed seafronts I've ever seen. Not exactly Brighton Beach. Oh, the walk into town is, has been quite revealing. It's quite local. Welcome to Dominica. Yes. 
Not sure I want to be an economic citizen of Dominica. Well, this place could do with a few quid spent on it. We are now entering Portsmouth. Fancy some wop wop food? Might pass on that one actually. Oh, oh chickens. Do not disturb. Hmm. Oh, what's behind that door? Oh, I don't think I'm going to be finding out. Can we get this way? Oh, some people down here. Oh, we're going to try and get to the beach, see this little market. Okay, so we've walked walked by the town, now we're going to walk, try and walk right by the beach. But it isn't the beach that we remember from yesterday. This is quite a different beach. Hmm. Oh, the irony. Uh, it's just, I think, think the whole thing just suffers from a massive lack of investment. It's so undeveloped. Uh, this was the restaurant Helen was looking for. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's open. Strange concoction of different buildings. Uh, you know. Welcome to Dominica. Ah, once you get outside of the town, it's actually very pretty, very quaint. Yeah, this is definitely the better place. Ooh, that's why you put jungle spray on. The bite, the bite from hell. Oh. So lunch today, au déjeuner joué de wheat at décembre. Um, Helen's having the pumpkin pear and red onion. Mm. I today am going to try the Ponomp club sandwich. Mm. Have you noticed that? all the wines from France. I know that sounds obvious. <laughs> no, it sounds obvious, but it's not always obvious. No. Just because it's a French line no. doesn't mean to say they're all French wines, but I think they've all been French wines. They've been yeah. PDG, haven't they? Pretty damn good. So let's see what the buffet gives us today. Let's go. Ah, we have the popcorn station again today. It looks like you can take the popcorn and add your own spices to it. Hmm. And this is the buffet station, which is here every meal time. So we have the cheese selection here, which is, well, it's absolutely French. And this is the salad station. I think this is a, a well, it's a different salad station. This one, look at the colors. The couleur, is that right? Then we have a, like a fish station and meats. And today we've got sardines, roll mop, and smoked tuna. Mm. And then desserts, this is my favorite bit. We've got an extra, extra large coffee eclair. We've got chocolate tart in the back there. That's got my name on it. Tropezienne, mini tropezienne. Coconut milky rice. And a pear clapotis, whatever that is. Sounds French. They have my name on it though. So today I've got a salad. There's a tapping yard. <clears throat> they have a daily tapping yard. It's very unusual to see tapping yard so available. So that's the tapping yard there. Mm. And then we've got some hummus there, some fresh hummus. Lots of different salad things. This has been a revelation to me, having cauliflower in a salad. Didn't have that before, but I'm telling you now, it's the way forward. And also, I've got some sort of smoked meats there and smoked tuna. I've never had smoked tuna before. So I'm gonna give that a go. Does that look brilliant? Thank you, France. Well, well, baby, this 
says me. So, we're now going to go and walk up to the fort. Fort Shirley. Surely not. Yes, Shirley. Got to say, though, it's a pretty fort. Isn't it? <laughs> See those walls? Yes. That's how thick the glass is in the Blue Eye Lounge. Captain is admiring the ship, and why not? There's a lot to admire. It's good that the captain's proud of his vessel. And that's the end of the fort tour. Surely not. <laughs> yes, it is. And don't call me Shirley. So we're in the Blue Eyed Lounge again. We try and get to the Blue Eyed Lounge every day, don't we? Um, but this is the evening. We're alongside in Dominica. Dominica, and as you can see, it's a bit freaky because they're the sort of staunchions that we're uh, moored against. But uh, because we're near the shore, amazing amount of fish. We've hit the fish jackpot. The fishy jackpot. So. Cheers. We also hit Sunset Jackpot and it was utterly mesmerising. This is a Caribbean sunset at its finest. Good morning from the tender on the way to Les Sots in Guadeloupe. Yes, a small archipelago of islands just south of Guadeloupe. And I tell you what, it's the perfect day actually, it's very, very hot. And we're going to the island called Terre de Haute, which looks really small, and so we're going to try to cover as much of the island as we can. Terre de Haute. Terre de Haute. Terre de Haute. Up to the fort, down to a beach, I think. See so if we can get some snorkelling. We'll yeah. find somewhere to do some decent snorkelling. Yeah. Well, apart from that, we'll just see how we get on. Shall we? See you there. Okay, first things first, we're going to walk to the fort. Fort Napoleon. And then come back to the And then we're going to come back and have a look around. This is just such a quaint little place. Have a look. Surrey has a completely, completely different feel to Portsmouth in Dominica. I mean, it's just so quaint. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, we had uh, considered just hiring a little electric twizzy or something for the day, but because um, the island is tiny, so we've decided to get our steps in. Just saying hello to some of the locals. Look at the fat coat with the tiny legs. <laughs> How about that one, Helen? Shall we buy that one? It's probably quite cheap. Needs a bit of work to Well, the odd lick of paint, I would imagine. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, a lick of paint. Maybe you might want to put a new kitchen bathroom in, but that's optional. Uh, Ooh, just stop for a rest. There. There's another steepy bit there. Yeah. View. Well, I tell you what, it's absolutely gorgeous. Every single step, look at it. 
nice. What a really place. Uh -huh. And I bet you anything you like, not many cruise ships stop here. This is too tiny. So, nice one, Ponon. Uh, hello. The fort itself is only like just under a mile from the town, from where you get dropped off, but it's a 427 feet climb vertically. All the, all the butterflies. Butterflies and bees. It's like one of those weird, surreal things. Utopia that becomes like a nightmare when all the butterflies start landing on you and eating you. Looks like a pretty major viewpoint coming up on the turn. You know you get near the top where there's a shack selling cocktails. More goats. Seem to like goats here. I like goats. Do you like goats? Leave a comment. It helps the algorithm. I'm not really interested. No filming or photography inside without previous consent. Oh, you're having a laugh. No. Oh, we ain't going in then. No <laughs> film or photography. Authorization from the Consul Department of Guadalupe. Can I film the goats? So, one swift edit later, we are back in the town and uh, we might go to the beach, which is quite some way over the other way, through the town. But I'm uh, very tempted to hire one of these because they look well cool. We're walking towards the beach, which is one and a half miles away, would you say? I mean, I think to be honest, it's so pretty. This road is just so pretty. We've just decided to walk it because it's, you don't want to miss anything. Mm, the first snow hill, the angels did see. What did you say? They look, oh, they're cool, them ones though, aren't they? This road just goes on forever, doesn't it? Okay, the Panda Sucre, that way. Yeah, we face a climb. Here goes. Now, this really reminds us of a walk we did in Basse-Terre, in Guadeloupe, when we were last here. When was that, 2018? Yeah. And we walked up and down a hill where there were goats and chickens to a really sweet little beach, a little French beach. Full of French people, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really weird. It was like stepping back into sort of a cute version of Nice. If i got a clip, I'll show you while we're walking. But that's... That's on the mainland. We are still in Guadeloupe, which is quite interesting. Anyway, you don't want to hear me huffing and puffing. Let's get to the other side of this hill. So, we are finally where the beach is, and we're entering another little colourful village, isn't it? Yeah. It looks beautiful. It looks like where everyone stops and parks yeah. up their electric things. Down here, Oh, is it down here? So much like the one. So much like the one in. It is. Loop, it? it is like the one in Bastille. So yeah. I can't remember where that was, what that beach was called. That was, that was, so much like that. That was just as punishing yeah, to walk to, like wasn't it? Down, it was, just yeah. as many goats. Right, let's get to the bottom of this really rocky thing, shall we? It is the same beach. It looks exactly the same. It is exactly the same beach. That's We've not. been here before. Helen has suddenly realised this could be exactly the same beach as we've been talking about all the way through here. How can it be the same beach? It is the same beach. But we haven't been here. We have, obviously. <laughs> this is the same beach. I can't believe it. Can you believe it, honey? No. It's the same beach? I cannot yeah, because there's the big hill thing. Yeah, this is the same beach. It's I the same beach. After all that, it's the same beach. Oh, in a fit of massive collaborative amnesia, we find ourselves exactly the same beach as we said we were in in 2018. It's been a nice day. It's just a strange little beach. Look, look how thin it is. Everyone's like rowed against each other, aren't they? Shoulder to shoulder. But, you know, it's okay. Let's go and get a drink, shall we? Yes. So, halfway up the hill is this little place. 
where you can stop, get some stuff. Which is exactly what we're going to do now. Yeah, I think we're going to go for the double croc. Is that okay? Double croc? And a couple of beers. So, we were just discussing why the French have all the best islands mm. in the world. You can't quite figure out how they managed to bag all of them. There's obviously there's French West Indies, which is where we are now, which is absolutely gorgeous. French Polynesia. French Polynesia, which is Tahiti and Bora Bora and all that kind of thing. Why are they all French? Yeah. We need to get French, French citizenship. Oh, we don't really need French citizenship. Mm. If we can freely move between all those islands. We need a French passport. Yes. How do we get a French passport? Auntie Rachel. Your Auntie Rachel. Who lives in France and is a permanent resident and has been there for about 30 years. We have a French surname, so that should count for something for goodness sake. Definitely should. Because, I don't know about you, I want to call this place and French Polynesia and France. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cheers. To try and make amends for us never being able to attain French citizenship, Ponant laid on a huge cheese buffet. All French, of course, and to be honest, I didn't know cheese could come in so many oozy, mouldy, tangy, and in Helen's opinion, delicious forms. I'm more of a cheddar person, but Helen prefers them smelling of old socks, which is funny, because she has a different opinion about my old socks when I leave them on the floor. What's also a mystery is how ridiculously arty the entertainment is on board. It takes contemporary dance to new and utterly bonkers levels, and we love it. A bizarre end to a rather bizarre day. Oh, look, Helen, we've got presents. These are the poshest Madelines I think I've ever seen. Good night, all. First time. Build your own baguette. Smoked salmon, cream cheese, fresh baguette, squeeze of lemon, hint of cracked pepper. Perfect. Oh, that was delicious. Now, the second course is waffles. I've fallen off the breakfast wagon, as you can see. <laughs> Gone are the omelettes. In come the sugary stuff. And with it, I'm going to have a drizzle of this beautiful honey. Mm. Bonjour from Beckway and, and the Grenadines. Beckway is sporting a mighty fine rash vest. We're going snorkeling today. Yes, we're doing an off-list so. excursion. We haven't mm. tried any excursions yet, so yep. uh, we thought we'd give one a go today, see what it's like. And, you know, we have to be sun prepared, as they say. Anyway, let's see if we can do this. No. Let's do this!
just love a rum that just admits that it's very strong. Oh yeah. Can I have some? Please. Wow, look at this kindly lady has given me some of that really strong rum. Well, she's given it to me neat, which is what we like. Oh my God, I didn't see that. 84% proof. And she's giving me a little in there. Cheers, kindly lady. Thank you very much. Let's get out, goes. Buffalo soldier. Cheers. Oh, we've had a great morning, haven't we? Very nice. <laughs> yeah, my two eyes are not seeing as stereo. They're seeing in like dual mono, as I call it. Um, which means that one eye is seeing something that's completely different to the other eye. It's a phenomenon. Look it up on the internet. But hours ago, it's taking a very slow sail back. Up. We are, aren't we? It's, it's, it's amazing. We've got reggae on, we've got rum, Bob Marley, <laughs> sunshine. Perfect morning. Sante, as they say in France. Thank you very much, sir. Very right, we're going to nip to the Whalebone, which is one of the oldest, well, the oldest family restaurant and bar in Beckway. We've been here before, Bunny. Isn't it gorgeous? Especially when the sun is going down. All the little boats and shoes. Oh, yeah. Well, look at the supermarket. It's a okay. It says coconut, Helen. Natural Viagra. That's <laughs> what it said. Yeah. It's starting to get really, really quite dark now, but it just feels so safe. There's kids running around and people saying hello. And... Now there's a, there's a path here. It's wet. No two gentlemen are giving it a go. Should we give it a go? Mm -hmm. Looks nice. I don't know quite where we're going. I haven't. Oh, okay. That's all right. Oh. No. We've already got, oh my God. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> Literally within a second. It was only that bit of the path. Literally well. within a second. It was literally only that bit of the path. What is going on? We hesitated. If you hesitate, you lose. I can't believe that. It was the only part, the only part of the, of the, path. Of the path that got wet. <laughs> so. Right, I've got my back. <laughs> Right. Anyway, let's take this path, shall we? <laughs> See what happens. Well, it's already happened, didn't it? <laughs> well, we're at the whale bone. And it's not open. I fancied some whale boner rum. I've got my feet wet for nothing. It's a nice little path though, isn't it? It's a lovely little path, and there's some lovely, lovely buildings on the path. That one's made of gingerbread. I just stopped to take a picture of that. That's beautiful. Ship. Whoa, did you hear that? Now, Helen has a plan. Does she plan to pet this dog? Dog has got rasta hairy dreadlocks. You see that? It's a rasta dog. I think we might be here, judging by Helen's smiley face. As you can see, they have the painkiller. Uh, but lots of other lovely things as well. So, what we have here is actual, well, it's called Heroon. It's actually beer from St. Vincent. So, there you go. So, chin chin. Yeah, cheers. Cheers.
If you've enjoyed this episode, we hope you've watched the first two and the final part is coming very soon. So why not subscribe and hit that bell notification button and it'll plop onto your virtual doormat like a welcome gift from a mystery benefactor. Well, it's not really a mystery because it's from us. But thank you anyway. Until the next time.